Uh, Rick, how concerned are you about the rise with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood in the Middle East, especially what's going I'm, on with I'm Egypt? Very I'm very concerned about that. I mean, if, uh, I'm hopeful that with the military transition that's being talked about today, I've just got some snippets that the military will be able to, uh, uh, to make a transition, a more orderly one, and one that does not advantage the Muslim Brotherhood. The problem with Egypt is, unlike Turkey, uh, when, when Ataturk took over Turkey, was that there were political parties in Turkey. And the only political party in, in, uh, in Egypt is a Muslim Brotherhood, other than, other than Mubarak's. So there aren't viable opposition, secular opposition groups in Egypt right now, and hasn't been because Mubarak squashed them all. So you, you're creating an atmosphere where uh, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed uh, man is king, and that one-eyed man right now is the only standing party. Is is oh, we're only 20 percent. I think someone Obama said, well, if they're 20 percent, nobody and everybody else is zero. That's pretty important to know. What, and you that's, think, that's where we are right now. You think it's pretty arrogant of the president to actually ask Mubarak to step down? Uh, I think I was pretty clear on that. Yeah. That uh, I thought the president did not play this the right way. All right.